You want more clients on Upwork to respond to your proposals and decide to interview you because you want more clients, because you want higher income, because you want a better life for your family. The strategy I'm teaching you today helps me land interviews every single week on Upwork. My strategy for landing interviews with most of the jobs that I apply to comes down to this formula. Real goal minus the Upwork job equals hire a freelancer. I'm gonna explain. So the real goal is the reason why the client posted the Upwork job to begin with. So often they don't mention this reason in their job post. You just have to deduce and understand your client's true wants and just how their business model works. Then you subtract that information from the Upwork job, from what their real want is, and that gap is where you come in. So you help this client get what they really want by doing what they asked for in the Upwork job, or not. So something you have to understand is that sometimes the client doesn't know what they need done in order to achieve their goal. So they post a job looking for a Facebook lead gen expert when they really need someone to help with the SEO on their website in order to achieve more website traffic, which is their real goal. If you're super good at reading into what a client's real want is, then you can send proposals to jobs that don't even seem related to your expertise But in the proposal, you pitch why your services make the most sense for achieving the goal they barely even mentioned, but somehow you understood it. I've gotten many clients through that method, through pitching my services in a job that wasn't even asking for my services. So how do I get interviews from many of the proposals I submit? First of all, I explain right off the bat that I understand that client's real goal. And then I mention how I will help them achieve that goal with, and I mention a specific service, and then sometimes that service matches what's in their job post, sometimes not. So then I provide immediately at least one example of me having achieved that same goal for another client from that service or package that I offered. When you're just beginning, you won't have a substantial portfolio yet, right? And and you're like, hey, well, I don't have something that I've accomplished for a previous client that matches what this client wants, so what do I do? Well, as I've instructed in other videos, you need something. It doesn't matter if the work you did was free. It doesn't have to be for a paying client. You need a portfolio example proving that you know what you're doing, which means you need to understand your client's main desires, then you need to know how to communicate how your service is a bridge to get them there. And you need to have done that for somebody else or just for yourself. Even if it wasn't a paying client, it doesn't matter. It's just something to visually show, hey, I can do this. I can tell you from experience, my first few Upwork jobs that I got didn't come because I had past experience to prove my worth. It was because I understood my client's real goal so well that they assumed I must know what I'm doing. I didn't even have much of a portfolio, but I was still grabbing from previous work I've done that was somewhat similar, but it wasn't the exact same thing. For example... I was pulling from my video editing experience that even up to when I just started was only projects I was doing in college and for myself, it wasn't for paying clients, but I was reframing that editing experience and the exposure I got to the industry to pitch my video marketing and strategy services. And I was trying to create a bridge there. And uh, then with the first couple clients, I performed really well for them and then I had some client results that I can then use the next time around. And that's why it's hard to charge really high rates right out the gate because you don't have a really strong portfolio yet. But as long as you have something, you can get those first few jobs and then you can produce results for those first couple clients. And now sales gets easier and easier. So now it's more tricky with consulting or strategy type freelancing when you're delivering results over time. Because until you have a client willing to take a chance on you, you're not going to have those results unless you did it for yourself. If you're a writer or a video editor, graphic designer, it's much easier to show off your skills through examples you produced just for yourself, even just for free, for fun projects, just to really prove those skills. But for me, when I was trying to offer strategy services right out of the gate, 
I was able to find some clients that were willing to take a chance on me, even though I had never produced that result for a previous client because of how well I understood their real goal and their business model. And so they just assumed that I, I knew what I was doing. But you understand the client's real goal, it will really set you apart from other freelancers who have the same level of technical or creative skill as you do in your craft. So let's say you are a writer, you are a video editor, you produce uh, visual pieces of work as part of your service, and it's not strategy-based. There's going to be a lot of other freelancers that have the same level of skill as you do. How are you going to set yourself apart? By understanding your client's real goal. This is why it's so important to choose a niche and a type of client that you work with often so that you really can become the expert on that type of client and that type of business. If you're just serving everyone, you'll never really be able to know any one client well enough to understand their goals, to understand their wants. So to help you in your next proposal so you can win an interview, here's an example of what the first couple sentences of a proposal really should look like. So let's pretend that this job is for a video marketing strategist and because that's that's what I do in my business. And the client wants to increase website traffic by building more SEO and they already understand that Google prioritizes content that has video. So they need someone to help them figure out a video strategy. I would look at the job post and I'd realize that I don't need to waste any time convincing them to hire a video strategist because they already know that's what's best, that's the best way to achieve their goal and that's what the job is posted for. And their goal is getting more website traffic. Also, they didn't mention once in the job that they wanted more website traffic, by the way. They didn't mention that. They just said, I need a video strategist to help grow my brand or something. It was more vague. And they just needed somebody to help with the videos on their website and strengthen the SEO so they have better content. But because of how well I knew this type of client, I knew that a business wanting to create, uh, wanting to generate traffic through content wants to generate quality leads which ultimately leads to sales and that's why they want this content marketing help so that they can get more website traffic and ultimately that leads to leads and sales so me understanding their real goals um, was able to it helps me to know how to write the right proposal so they already they're already okay to take longer time but spend less money over time to get this website traffic okay so that's the context of this job I'll start out my proposal for this job with something like this. I know how important more website traffic is to your business. So, whoa, right off the bat, they're going to be impressed by the fact that I just told them what their real goal is and they didn't even mention that. Um, now, if they did mention it, I'd still say the same thing in my proposal just to show that I've read it and that I still understand their real goal. So, I know how important website traffic is to your business and you already know how important video is to strengthen the SEO on your website. Through my video content marketing strategies, I've helped over 150 businesses generate more traffic to their website by publishing on-point educational video content as part of their blog. I recently helped a brand generate over $50,000 per month in revenue after just 12 months from implementing my video strategy. And then what I'll do is I'll, so basically I, you know, let them know that I knew their goal, and then I immediately said, I've accomplished this through, so through video content marketing strategy, so that's the method, I helped over 150 businesses, so now I'm giving a one to two sentence highlight from my portfolio of some of my main accomplishments, so off, so now that I have a, a big collection of accomplishments, I will often just group them all into one big thing, saying I've helped over 150 brands, but then sometimes I'll select a very specific example, like a brand generate over 50,000 month per month in revenue. So they're like, oh, like your video strategies actually led to more revenue every month. And ultimately that's what they're after, right? They want more website traffic so they can get more revenue. And so that's gonna help them realize that my services will lead to what they really want at the end, which is more sales. And then I'll proceed to link to a Google Doc that has more details on my strategy. So one thing I'll also mention in here, I roped their, their initial goal in the summary of my results. So I said I helped over 150 businesses generate more traffic to their website. So I mention how I 
generated more traffic to their website um, as I'm talking about my portfolio accomplishment. So that's just how I integrated that in. And that's one way to do that. So then in the proposal, I'll proceed to link to a Google Doc that has more details on my strategy package. And I'll also link to my profile video where I teach my strategy. And then I give the formula away in that video, but they still pay me to make the strategy because they don't have the time. And it just shows them that I definitely know what I'm talking about. So if you're wondering why you're not getting invites to interviews from your proposals on Upwork, you're likely missing these key elements. You're not mentioning how you understand the client's real goal. You're not explaining how you'll help them achieve that. And you're not giving an example from your portfolio to prove your value. All three of those things need to happen and you will land interviews on Upwork a lot easier. Now, if you want more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and go to FreelanceFamilyMan.com where you can take courses and learn more about how to support your family on one income freelancing on Upwork. Have a really great day.